Hey everybody. Um, all right, so I just want to showcase here uh, a little uh, trigger I made. Uh, it's actually um, I, I think it's pretty handy for 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 a lot of you. Uh, hopefully, it works for you. Uh, and it's actually going to involve using the input manager. So what I I like is. Um, uh, for as much as I, I really like to use these triggers to be able to select uh, specific keys, um, I have a lot of uh, uh, triggers with these specific changes uh, or these specific keys everywhere in my in in my uh, actual game. Uh, but I would like to be able to change sometimes, like which button does what, or even configure a button to be used across multiple. Um, devices like a, a game controller or a uh, um, uh, you know uh, a mouse click or something like that so one of the things that I did is for this one I'm actually going to use an example that already exists within uh, unity by default so if I go to the project settings and I go to the input manager uh, I'm actually going to use let's use um, you know what let's create a new one let's type in new one we're going to call this one Sprint, and we're actually going to use the, oh, this might require some Googling for my part. I think it's left space shift. Yep. So if I do left shift, it'll actually use left shift. And for the um, uh, alternative button, I'm just going to keep it that like, you know what, I'm just going to remove that. Uh, I'm going to leave everything else the same because it doesn't really matter. It's basically on and off. Uh, and this is basically for the left uh, shift only. Uh, so once I set up my sprint virtual button, because that's actually what they're called um, from what I read, uh, if I come here and I change this to uh, my uh, igniter that I created here, and I'm going to choose Unity input button, and all I have to do here is just paste my button key, um, and then the action is going to be down so that when I press it down and then uh, my other one I'm going to change it again input axis actually uh, input button I'm sorry and I'm gonna say when it's up um, so everything else behaves exactly the same as uh, as it normally does other than basically I have to type in the, the virtual name button rather than select a, um, a specific button from a list so now if I come here and I do my running, it'll speed up and then slow down. You can actually see here on the characters run speed here that it is speeding up and then speeding down. Now, if I later on decide, you know what, shift's not the one that I want. I want that to be done um, with, I don't know, the letter Q. So I just type in Q there. And then I didn't have to go back to the uh, um, to the script itself or to the action or a trigger. And when I try to sprint, and this is going to be very uncomfortable this way. And then uh, I click Q, and it runs. And then unpress Q, and then it stops running. So it's just an easy way uh, to to allow to remap as well, in case that you do have a script that allows you to remap this. Um, and yeah. That's that's pretty much it. Hope you guys like uh, that little nifty action and uh, have yourself a great day. Bye.